It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today I'm going to be showing you another keg for the Philips Perfect Draft. This time we have a Crew Republic IPA, Drunken Sailor IPA. It's 6.4% ABV. And we're going to start off by showing you how to fit the keg. I've seen this beer around for a long time for the Perfect Draft and I'm surprised it's taken me so long to get round to it. It's just one of those beers, whenever you tend to go to a shop online you always seem to see it always in stock it's always about so here we go let's get this done first of all take off this plastic top here each new keg comes with, comes with its own beer line open your Philips perfect draft Move the, the drip tray up the way. Well, I don't suppose you have to. I suppose the drip tray can stay where it is. I always got a thing of moving the drip tray out the way, like it's going to get in the way, but clearly opening the doors, it didn't. Right, so we've got our tap. Grab your line. I tend to put the tap forward. If you put the tap forward in your hand, you find it's easier to slide the line in. There we go. And then that clicks into position. Palm of the hand, big firm push. Job done, she's on. And here we go. There's your tap. There's your beer, all ready to go. I give that little nozzle a little wiggle, just so it slides nicely into position. Grab your keg, slide it in. Handles down, close your doors. And then you're gonna see a few things. Now, first of all, before this... There we go, that's done that. That's done its thing. Uh, what I would suggest you do with your keg is pre-chill it. Pre-chill your keg in your fridge, in your kitchen. Get it down to that three or four degrees required temperature. And you're not going to put too much pressure on the cooling system. What I will say is that generally I wouldn't drink an IPA at three degrees. Anything below four degrees, you start to lose hop complexity, malt complexity in the beer. You're generally just drinking something ice cold, which that's for mainstream lager, isn't it? Ice, ice, ice cold beer. If you warm it up a little bit, which you can't, unless you've got a perfect draft pro, that is, then there's that opportunity to really kind of get the, get the, temp, get, get the flavours from the beer. So on the front, it started off at 16 degrees. It's quickly gone down to 11 degrees. Of course, because I pre-chilled it. You've got a bar on the front saying how much beer's in the keg. Of course, it's full. We just put it in. And then there's the number of days left, how fresh that keg is going to be. So 30 days, the keg lasts 30 days. There's a number 30 there on the front of the machine. So let's pour a bit then. What, you will, what you're going to want to do, pour a little bit of beer through the line. You've just, you've just, by doing that, reduced the distance from the beer has to travel from the keg through the line into your glass. There's beer now right the way to the end of that tap. There's less distance for it to hit the glass. You've got a great chance of pouring a really, really good beer. So... You've wetted your glass as well, which is quite important, I'd say. Now you can carry on pouring. So straight down with the handle, no messing about. Don't half pour it, don't quarter pour it. Straight down like an arm wrestle. 45 degree angle. With your glass.
And then you make a mess of it like this. Then you make a mess of it like this. Uh, three to four finger white head. Hazy amber colored beer. Slow moving carbonation. Well, it's German IPA, the Germans like a head on a beer, the Czechs like the head on the beer, so do the Belgians, it's a European thing, so perhaps it's not such a bad pour after all. Um, what I find is these kegs, they take a little bit of time to settle in, one pint, maybe two pint, then they're settled in, they're, they're great for the pour. There's a look at the beer then, let's get, it's, it's very cold, very cold for an I, IPA. Ideally, I'd like to kind of cradle it for, a few minutes just to warm it up a little bit but we haven't got time for that let's get straight into it aroma orange marmalade spicy peppery it smells really really good bit of grapefruit lots of marmalade spicy peppery kind of marmalade flavors coming through Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Crew Republic IPA, Drunken Sailor IPA, 6.4% ABV. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous IPA. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. There's a reason why this beer is everywhere there's a reason why this beer is all in all of the the shops that sell the perfect draft kegs is because it's a really tasty beer really is this is lovely fantastic drinkability jammy tart nice sweet malt coming through Little bit of kind of bready biscuitiness coming through from that malt. But it's just generally really good. It's just generally lovely and hoppy, lovely and balanced. Exactly what I want to do for an IPA. I, I always seem to review my perfect draft kegs on a Friday. There's a reason for that. I've got all weekend now. I've got all weekend to enjoy my keg. We've got a nice sunny weekend. June 2022, it's going to be a fantastic weekend. We've had a lot of rain this week, so everything's going to be nice and crisp in the garden. It's going to be fabulous, and I'm going to be enjoying it with the barbecue lit and a load of these, I think. Load of, this, should, this keg will probably last me all weekend, me and the wife, all weekend. Fabulous tasting beer, balanced, hoppy, nice bitterness, a little bit of sweetness from the malt, bitterness from the hops. Marmalade, if you like your kind of marmalade IPAs, orange peel kind of, yeah. Mmm. Little bit of grapefruit. This is for you. This is for you. I'm going to rate it. Great look to the beer. Great lacing on the glass. Have a look at that carbonation as I roll the beer up. Look at the quality of that beer. You can tell it's a German beer, can you? It, it, it says the Roy Heischerbot on the side of the keg as well, which means German brewers, by law, are only allowed to use four ingredients, malted barley, hops, yeast and water. And that's it. That's it. No messing about. I like that. I really like that. I'm going to have some fun with this on the weekend. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.